Mr. Buddha, do you think that uh, President Yahya should now hand over power to you? I find it difficult to answer this question uh, here. I must return to Pakistan before I speak on it. Of course, I will speak on this matter. And uh, the place is Pakistan. But do you think the time has now come for you to lead the country? Well, I've been elected by the people. Uh, let's find someone else from Mars and that's a different matter. But uh, as far as uh, the people of Pakistan are concerned, they have uh, elected me as their chosen and undisputed leader a year ago. But outside Pakistan, you have said that this government has made some mistakes. Certainly. What sort of mistake? Well, um, uh, coming to the present, the, the delay, inordinate, inexplicable delay in the transfer of power, um, that I think has been a fatal blunder. Uh, power should have been transferred much earlier. To and whom? To us, to the elected people. Elections were held and um, the results of the elections should have been implemented so that we could have sought a political settlement. If military action was necessary to crush the cessationists, I do not say that that should not have been taken. Every country takes that kind of action. But it must be coupled uh, as soon as possible with, mil uh, with political action. Because finally there must be a political settlement. What sort of a state is Pakistan in now, do you think? In, in, in bad state, but we'll, we'll uh, come out of it. I'm full of hope and confidence. Uh, we have already won a political victory in the General Assembly by having the whole world supporting our position. And um, we will uh, salvage the wreckage. I'm quite confident of it. How would you resolve Pakistan's new position after the war now? Well, first things first, we must bring about some reforms, some fundamental reforms. Give the poor people of Pakistan a better stake in their own country. Do you still regard Pakistan as one country, Mr. Bhutto? Of course it is one country. Is that realistic? Absolutely realistic. What are realities? Temporary phenomena are not realities. Realities are studied in history. And historically, the concept of Pakistan, the ideal of Pakistan, cannot perish like this. You still don't recognize that the, what happened in East Pakistan is a, an expression of popular feeling, that they really do want to be separate? No, they wanted uh, maximum autonomy. And the line between maximum autonomy and cessation can be a thin one, or it could made to appear to be a thin one. How would you react to any governments that recognized the new Bangladesh government? A hostile act? Well, the British people are a great people. We have great admiration for the British people. But I'm afraid the role of the government has uh, been most partisan and, uh, uh, and uh, unfair towards Pakistan, if I may say so quite bluntly. And um, this is a long story. I think you... They haven't defended India's action, have they, the British government? Well, the Indian, uh, Indians were receiving missiles and arms right through the war. British factories were working night and day to provide little India pitted against a big Pakistan with arms and... Weren't uh, they just fulfilling existing contracts? Yes, contracts are fulfilled, but contracts are broken also. And uh, uh, in the history of diplomacy, I don't know how many contracts you've fulfilled and how many you have not fulfilled on many occasions. And we are, we are too cynical to really talk in terms of a legal obligation. And uh, I can give you instances where legal obligations have been broken by Britain with impunity. And um, that's a different story. But I think Britain thinks that, well, we divided the subcontinent, perhaps a mistake and uh, you're trying to atone for it by taking this position. But uh, unfortunately, tea is a very good thing, but tea interests and all have got involved. And jute interests have got involved, and commercial interests have got involved. But I don't want to say very much more, because we are in Christmas time, and I wish the British people a Merry Christmas.